No, that's not, I'm, I'm okay. totally down with that. It's great. Uh, okay. Um, this is Jake Hughes. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice questions. to meet you. How are you? All right. This is Matt. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. No, it's one. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. Impressive. Just, it's Jake? Yeah, Jake. Jake. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Impressive. Though. Thank you so much. I say, I, I, I'm, I know I, I'm an entertainer. I'm here to impress the crowd and, and get them what they want. It's my job. It's what I do. Anybody who doesn't know that this sport is as much WWF entertainment as it is athletic is lost. I mean, they say you agree. Have to. It's not just to whoop ass, but make people want to pay to watch you whoop ass. <laughs> right. That's that's my job. Is that why you got into the sport? Uh, no, um, I got into the sport because God gave me a gift to severely hurt other human beings. I'm just trying to be productive. Right. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah. What team are you training with? Um, I have actually my own gym. Kai Delta Submission Judo in Ocean City, Maryland. Okay. Uh, what's your biggest inspiration when it comes to MMA? I mean, let's see myself. Um, <laughs> you know, but to say, you know, there's to give uh, any one person all the credit. There's so many people come before us. I, mean, I actually received my little bit directly from Hoist Grace. Of course, he, he's, a, he's an inspiration. That's um, awesome. Uh, and then uh, uh, Randy Couture. I mean, just to be. The old guard and still out there, and hammering away on all the guys who are still coming up right through. Uh, Randy's also been a huge inspiration in my career, as well as you know anybody, of course, who represents yeah, judo. You know, the whether you know be Fedor or Carol Frazier, or you know, any other guy who is a good judo. Good names to bring up. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's your favorite submission strike? Strike. Uh, my my favorite submission? Yeah. Um, uh, just the last two of the one with uh, with uh, arm triangle. So uh, yeah, it, it seems to kind of be a go-to. You drop it, you drop it, and the guys are kind of reaching up. You know, oh, get off, get off, get off. locking that arm triangle. And it, it's uh, I mean, the last two fights, it's all one. So maybe that's my uh, new go-to thing. You know? <laughs> if you were a cereal, what would you be? You know, I haven't had cereal uh, since <laughs> sophomore year of high school. I ate a hot breakfast every single day since the hot year. The eggs, you know, French toast, pancakes, cereal, man. That's for that's for lazy man. That's like hot <laughs> breakfast every day. All right. Remember about your first fight, your very first fight. Uh, my very first fight, I had never even set foot in a cage until my very, very first fight as an amateur. And I, I remember I had no idea what was going on, and I heard clink, clink, doors locked. Referee, you ready? You ready? Fight like, wow, I'm in cage fight. And I remember this guy coming in. Every time his hands above, I stick with the jab. I stick with the jab. I almost and I've never boxed before, as you can tell from this fight. I don't box much. But I remember I hit him, and he started wobbling. So I was jab, jab, jab. My push on other hand, the other hand. So he switched stands. He jabbed with the other hand. I was like, I don't know how to throw a cross. And I remember that was my first fight. They're like, man, you are uh, real working that boxing, and I've still got yelled at this fight. We got to work on the boxing. But you know, it'll get done. What separates you from other fighters? Um, other than the fact that I'm really, really ridiculous and good looking. Um, <coughs> I, you know, <laughs> also, if anybody says the more hot or modest than me, I'll prove them wrong. I'm the most modest guy around, and that's a fact. Don't you forget. Um, but no, uh, you know what? No, you know, um, nothing really separates me from the you know, top top class guys. Because, you know, any given day, anybody can win a fight. And that's, that's why people come out to see the sport. And, I like to think that I have as much heart, drive, and determination as anybody. So I say, you know, it's, a, it's an any given night, anybody can win. And, you know, I'm just out here trying to prove uh, I belong amongst the best. I'm not saying I'm the best fighter in the world. Uh, it's like, but, uh, you know, I, I do believe I'm, I'm up there amongst the top ranked fighters. Do you have anything to say to your sponsors? Or? Yeah, I'd just like to thank my sponsors, uh, Loaded Gun Customs. Uh, they're a you know, wonderful uh, custom motorcycle and uh, a, a cafe racer and hot rod shop. I'd like to thank. Uh, We'd like to thank uh, 93.5 The Beach and Great Scott Broadcasting. Uh, I'd like to thank Mother's Cantina, 28th Street, Ocean City, Maryland. And I'd like to thank my father's CPA firm, Killian Certified Public Accounting. We'll tap out your taxes. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for having me. Hey, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Sarah, what, 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 what